at every curve. We cast them out of Acre and push them from the countryside. Now they retreat to the south, begging everything. But he will not succeed, for none can withstand the might of King Richard. I need this dealt with now. The ropes are eaten through with rot and must be replaced. If we wait any longer, we risk an accident. I understand, but what of the houses I'm supposed to repair? Never mind the citizens. What do they do anyway but cry and complain? It's the knights who sacrifice that the rest of us might live in peace. But they've nowhere to go, and the rains will come soon. I won't warn you again, boy. Do as you're told or you'll find yourself in irons. Y yes, sir. First sensible words out of your mouth. You've got the plans now. Get to work! If it isn't Altair, remember me? No? I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still, no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Al Mualim has charged me with a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. No, don't put really have a <laughs>
such a strange moment. I wonder what he's up to. Stop that face. You call him, don't laugh. Back. I'm impressed. Not enough to change my mind about you, but since Al Muelim commands, here is what I know about your next target. Garnier hides in the Hospitalier Fortress. Getting into the fortress will require cunning. That's all I have for you. About Elaine? The archer who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. After me, he saw me. He will kill me and my wife and children. Oh, what a mess! Have you come to end my misery? No. Al Mualim has more compassion than I thought. Could you help me then? A knight of the Hospitalier is after me. If you could eliminate him, you would do a fellow a real honor. I've been here in Akar since the Crusaders were laying siege. I can give you important information in return. Oh, my God. 
Altair, he's after me. He saw me. He will kill me and my wife and children. What a mess. Have you come to end my misery? No. Al Mualim has more compassion than I thought. Could you help me then? A knight of the Hospitalier is after me. If you could eliminate him, you would do a fellow a real honor. I've been here in Akka since the Crusaders were laying siege. I can give you important information in return. No, please, don't leave me! This is an ill omen. Oh, oh, man. oh man. Ah. It is done. He's dead. Oh, I am extremely grateful. So, here is what I know about Garni de Naplouz, Grand Master of the Hospitalier. Garni let his patients roam the halls of his fortress. No one, save scholars, may enter his personal workspace and the rooftops are guarded by archers. I'm sure this information will help deliver Garni to the gates of hell. He turns away from your suffering, but this is unfair, untrue. He is but one man, gifted as he is, and can only help so many. Soon, my friends, soon the good doctor will attend to your needs. Be patient, hold hope close. There are many in need of aid, and only one of him. He works tirelessly to serve and save, but these things take time. Don't do that again, understand? Huh! 
Mercy, mercy! Don't kill me. I'll do anything you want. You serve Gagne? He, he makes me say these things to keep the people from revolting, to give them hope and make them eager for his touch. Tell me everything you can about the man. Y yes, of course. I, I know what happens within, what he really does. Go on. Not sick, not wounded when they enter, but once he's got his hands on them, then the pain begins. He's no healer then, just a sick, cruel man. I, I don't know what it is he does to make them cry so loud, but it must be stopped before more are made to suffer. Will you stop him? It's why you still live. He is cautious. You must pick the proper time. Go to him when he attends to the patients. He forgets the world around him, becomes lost in his work. Yes, strike then. I thank you for the information. Then you'll let me go? Would that I could. So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of. Just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? It's a waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, I ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. <laughs> Look like a merchant? No. So go away. Ah, 
Ah, Altair. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualam has ordered the execution of Garnier de Naplus. The Grand Master of the Knights Hospitalier? Indeed. And I have already determined when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. I am so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? Only to help you. No, you want to hurt me. 
It's all you've done since you brought me here. My child, the very fact that we're having this conversation shows that we've made progress. Or do you forget the way you once were? I can't remember before. All a blur. Ah, it'll come back in time. And you'll see. I'll kill you where you stand. your burden. Ah, I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wills? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps. But not in mind, which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the Peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know.
What news, Altai? Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Selecting the hidden blade during fight will allow you to quickly dispatch it. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne de Naplus is dead. Excellent! We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a god, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen.